Ever wanted to know how Marvel Studios came to be? Or even how they make their films? Then you'll want to check out the story of Marvel Studios, the making of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Originally titled Marvel Studios The First 10 Years, this book by Tara Bennett and Paul Terry is fully authorised and contains lots of quotes from the cast and crew, along with tons of photographs and concept art, many of which haven't been previously released to the public. There's also a forward by Kevin Feige and an afterword by Robert Downey Jr. The book is split over two hardcover volumes housed in a metalised reinforced slipcase. Each volume is four stamped on the spine and cover. Volume 1 features a blueprint of the Mark 1 Iron Man armour with the Nano Gauntlet emblazoned on Volume 2. Marvel Studios' history is broken down year by year, giving readers an intimate look at the company's growth and evolution of the Infinity Saga. While this may make tracking the development of a specific film tricky, this format does have its advantages, allowing fans to clearly understand when certain events happen in relation to others, as well as giving readers a glimpse at the early development of Phase 4. Although a majority of the content won't come as a surprise to hardcore fans, the authors have managed to include some new revelations here and there. For example, the cast of the first Thor film sung the Mighty Thor theme song from the animated The Marvel Super Heroes television series, but the scene ended up not being used. One particular thing to keep in mind is that while readers will learn how a film progresses from its early concept to release, the technical aspects of how certain scenes were made aren't detailed. Additionally, the story of Marvel Studios isn't a guide to the films, so you won't find dedicated sections on easter eggs or deleted scenes. Disappointingly, for a book that costs over 200 Australian dollars, several errors are present. I found a few instances where the last sentence on one page is repeated on the next, and places where words have been omitted. One such instance is the last sentence on page 71, which continues on page 72. It reads, If one contem Iron Man suit, what would be the ripple effect? This sentence clearly makes no sense. While they're not present in every chapter, these mistakes can make for a disjointed reading experience. Regardless, the story of Marvel Studios, the making of the Marvel Cinematic Universe is still a gorgeous book, one that's well researched and beautifully designed. This is a tome that any MCU fan will love. Let me know in the comments if you'll be getting yourself a copy, give this video a thumbs up, and please subscribe for more geeky content.